So today is the day that liberals rejoice and conservatives cry a fucking banjo tune over the death of radio presence Rush. When I first saw hashtag RIP Rush trending on Twitter, I was happy because I thought that awful Canadian band died in a plane crash. But no, I'm referring to, of course, Rush Limbaugh, the conservative radio show host. Now, let me just remind everyone that I'm a trigger opportunist. If there is a sensitive topic to be discussed, you better believe I will jab and pin it until everyone's dead from blood loss. It is my belief that every single person who dies deserves to be roasted on a spit. I want the same done to me, so I'll do it to whoever the fuck I please. And if you don't like it, you can fucking die. There have been plenty, plenty of people who were able to spew vile hatred and bigotry into a microphone, but very few were able to shill for OxyContin while doing it. R.I.P. Rush. Plenty of people have chimed in about the death of the radio legend, including my doctor, and I quote, The hemorrhoid surgery was successful. R.I.P. Rush. R.I.P. Rush, you died of what doctors thought was lung cancer, but later they found it was from all the backed-up pig cum you ingested over the years. You made $500 million being the poster boy for constipation. I don't claim to be familiar with your work, and I don't care. For decades, every screaming liberal in America prayed that you would die a horrible, tragic death, but God said he couldn't do it because the Oxycontin was too strong. R.I.P. Rush, you look like a menstrual egg on a diet of potato chips took a shit in a pill bottle. The hole in your heart could fit a million NBA schlongs. For most of your life, you look like gluttony from the movie Seven. You made the Westboro Baptist Church look like the NAACP, you fat fascist degenerate. If there is a hell, you'd be kicked out and sent to Culver's to rot, you geriatric anal bead. You look like if Archie Bunker was an actual bunker. I hope you and John McCain are 69ing in Satan's asshole. R.I.P. Rush, you will be replaced by presumably some other reactionary boomer piece of shit.